Hello everybody and welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you guys are having a good one. And in this video, the main goal is to go up into this region right here. Figure out what is going on near the volcano and see what phenomena is going on. As well as try to see what we can find there. Shrines of course, towers, stories and see if we can get any more upgrades as well as better gear better armor so that i can actually feel more comfortable one of the major goals is to find woodland stable because there is some very important people i need to speak to in that area regarding uh the bubbles as well as uh the fairy i gotta find the troop and have them go back over to this snowfield stable so i can get the ferry so i can actually start upgrading some gear but yeah like always down in the description will be chapters to help guide you guys along the way and to start off we are gonna speak with these people right in front of us because this guy looks very cool he also looks very important so i am gonna do this side quest and see what's going on here so let's get this show on the road let's go I'm sorry, Toro. You're not the right one for the job. Oh. Come on, don't say that. You've got to let me cast my line into the depths, too. I'm capable of deciphering some Zonai script. Who else can tackle that stuff? I need to know that. I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Zonai survey team, after all. But aren't you heading up to the Ring Ruins investigation in Kakariko Village? Anyway, Toru? That's where your focus should be. Those fallen ruins are huge and exciting, big enough to see from Lookout Landing. So please, finish your work there before asking to join new research. Mm. But, but to read first-hand Zonai history, that bait's too juicy to pass up. Taru, he's the team leader of the Zonai survey team. Oh. Swordsman, <laughs> someone else has covered the job already? Guess it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakariko Village and just stare up at those ring ruins. Toro's an amazing person, and he's a first-rate archaeologist, too. But he loves Zonai research so much that he'll bolt from a project to chase any new discoveries. Oh. I've been looking for someone to help with my investigation of the depths. I mean, you're the best for the job. I'll help. I'll help for sure. Thank you. Having you help out is such a relief. We'll explain all the details to you. Come with me. The Mystery of the Depths. Oh, this is a main quest. I thought this was a side quest. It's actually a main quest. Am I able to take this? Oh. Oh, that's where you keep your research materials. Okay, I'll take. I won't. I won't touch it. All right. I mean, they're just arrows. Okay. Uh -huh. So remember that fragment I had, the one that showed a single mysterious figure found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da, just look. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. Oh, are these the statues? The bargaining statues? I think the one that I went to down there is this one that is facing north. Till it ends with the last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Also, see those large ears in the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. So to collect my thoughts on all this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of the, those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is still a speculation on my part. So, <laughs> that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure, depict it in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go by myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But then they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go in the depths. So, here. Nice, 10. Uh -huh. 
and the arrows. So what I was trying to steal before, you ended up just giving to me anyway. Yeah. All right, we are ready to make our way towards this direction. So I'm just going to follow this road here. Probably fast travel to here. Go up here. So let's move out. Get rid of these guys that are up here so he can start throwing stuff at me. All right. Start throwing rocks, you fool. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. Throw a rock. Right back at you. And you sit. That did a lot of damage. Do it again. Come on. You know you want to. Do it. Throw it. And rewind. Right back at you, man. <laughs> you just keep sitting. Like... Yeah. Easy. But like... The easiest boss so far. Now that I know how to take care of them, folks. Give me my arrows back, please. Bunch of ambers, rubies, got some bows. All right, I got a fuse. I'm gonna fuse this. To here. Now it's a 37 weapon. It's like a kingdom heart blade. <laughs> Do you have anything? Misko's treasure. Take it so you've stuck a fashion reward type like me all the way up here. Misko's treasure? Mm -hmm. You don't know? A legendary, a legendary bandit by the name of Misko. But theory isn't what made them a legend. An unparalleled fashion sense. I do have a map. Tell me where I need to go. Uh... He's a fairly wild outfit. Fill the wear Okay. Wow, she gave me three locations. Safe and lightning, great fairies. Yep, I gotta go to Woodland Stable. I know, I know. I do. I do need to go to Woodland Stable. Wait, so she, there's there's literally like one right here. And it's probably in this cave. I'm really curious what this cave is. The Crenel Hills Cave. Big open area, by the way. Very big open area. Oh. You are awake. St a stone talus. Go back at you. This bow is almost gone. I, I should be able to get away with this. My bow just broke. I'm almost out of bows. That's not good. I know I need you to die. Thank you. All right. He's down. Ah, there's the chest. What is this reward? Barbarian armor. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Equipping that. Oh, we look sick. Attack up? I'll take that indeed. Now, I said there is one over here, which is I'm near that stable. So I'm going to go there real quick. See what this one is. So there's a chest in here. I've been in this cave like numerous times. Oh, there's something in here. Ah, there it is. Behind the waterfall. All right, what do we got? Climbing gear. Nice. Ooh, we got a goblin camp here. Let's take care of some folks. Oh, nope. It is a movable talus. It's always talus. Oh, this, this dude is taller. Oh, but he has way less health. One more hit. Dead. Oh, I missed. Dead. Super easy fight. 
All right, I should be approaching the X that she mentioned here. It's in this forest here. Oh, and a shrine. Well-placed shrine. All right, I see the cave entrance. It's right there. Uh, if that even is a cave. But we're going to do the shrine here. And there's a Korok who needs help finding their friend. The Tenetin Shrine. Throwing. It's a training. So I can only do this by throwing. Oh, here we go. You want to go? Done. All right, now the X for this is over here. I'm not gonna waste a bomb arrow. I do have this rock hammer, so we're just gonna bash away at this. What's here? It is a cave. Okay. The Whistling Hill Cave. Hey! Get over here! I missed! Get over here! No, get. Duh! I gotcha! Wake up! I got nine of those boys. And drop it down! We all wanted to get the jump on me. Not today. Not today. I was prepared. I knew what you guys were gonna do. And I dropped in and smashed you to pieces. Hey, we found it. What could this one be? Gotta be on the lookout for any bombs. Nope, no bombs. Not on the thing. Alright, what is this one? This protects you from lightning. It is rubber armor. Shock resistance. Alright, those are the three gear pieces that the lady mentioned. We did it. Back to where I was, which was over here. The Sepapa Shrine. Sepapa. Backtrack. Uh, I feel like this has something to do with... Rewind. So we'll do this. That is a torch. And this gives me the chest. That has a strong construct bow. Ah, dang it. There we go. That's what it. All right, now what? All right, and now I need to rewind it. Hold on. So I go through here. Now I got to rewind this so that it opens this. Like that! Easy. Alright, I see that tower way over there. I gotta get to that tower. There's also a smoke sack over there that is a stable. I wonder if that's Woodland Stable. I lost it. There was a shrine. Oh, there it is. The Echo Chiu Shrine. Rise and fall. Ooh. I haven't come back. There. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Go on up. Thank you. There's nothing down here, right? Nope. All right. 
I noticed that the shrines in this game are way larger. Like, in terms of, like, room space. They just feel much larger. Thank you. Alright, what do I need to do with this? What does this do? Does this launch it up? It does. It sits. Alright. Rewind. Alright. Now this should launch me. Now it should come back. Like so. That was a fun one. I like the time. Like the rewinding time. Very cool. Wait. Rewind this, because there's clearly has a chest on top. Go on up. Thank you. What is this? Rockets. Nice. Bunch of rockets. Alright. What is this stable? Please be the woodland stable. It is the woodland stable. Let's go. Alright. There are so many people here I need to speak to. I'm following you, little buddy. I'm following you. Oh, you, you disappeared. There's a monster shop guy. He's still here. He crashed, though. <laughs> you there, traveler. Do you have any business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big Brother. <laughs> it's no use. Bolton. Please, it's impossible, absurd, even to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature as a Tori, no less absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that. Got. I'll never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on Bubble Gem, then I'm sure to turn into Satori. I have those. A bubble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Offer that in trade. The hunt for bubble gems. What am I going to do? This is who I need to speak to. Let me go inside this cave. And get this, get whatever's in here. The Pico Pond Cave. I already got it. I got it. I got you. Traveler, did you hear me and my big brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true. I must get my fingers on bubble gem. But the bubble frog is... What is your dream? <laughs> you want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori, you know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, I, I, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. Here, take this. That's a bubble gem. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape, and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as it can be. You did it, now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much, please take this gifty in return. A Bokoblin mask. So that will basically have me blend in with Bokoblins. Cheers and bottom up. Gulp. My body, it isn't changing. That means he needs more. Wait, I have more though. I have ten. I only gave you one. Uh, okay. Please do give it to me. 
Okay. With that, I hope we meet again sometime somewhere. So I gotta try to find you numerous times. Because you probably just disappeared. Hmm. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. No, I had to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. Thank you so much for helping my little brother. I do hope during your travels you'll find some time to assist him further. Uh, my brother's very So visit me in Terrytown. You need help finding him. I'll be going now. So Terrytown is where I need to go next in Akala, which is right of uh, Elden. Nice. Oh, I'm, I'm following you, boy. I'm following you. Where are you taking me? I just gave him three apples, and now he's taking me somewhere. And it's this chest that's in the ground that I just could have found myself. And I just decided to just not look. Okay, a bunch of seeds. Thank you, boy. Alright, there's a well here. Let's see what's in this well. This led to nothing. What? There's nothing in here. This was for nothing. Put me in the goat's pen. Alright, well. Pen! Speaking of pen, what do you have? Alright, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Well, we had our accident here one awful night sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances, or us. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of her tragic accident without so much of it as an apology. Whatever reasons the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. Hmm. Hmm. So I gotta fix the wagon. There you go. Alright, let's go. Up to the ferry. Alright, we're here. Play your music. Do something. Alright, I did it. Thank you, we can take it from here. All right, Maestro, lead us to the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the heart we can for the great fairy. Ooh, let's see what they play. Is it like fancy? She's awake. Uh -huh. <laughs> Behold, Violin, the great fairy, graces us with her presence. Ah. Truly divine. Aye. Oh, it's Pen. Oh. Well, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So this is a great fairy. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. 
Mm -hmm. Now that I look back at it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had a feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might take a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy's out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. Well, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results for your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud of myself. Here's a start to the old nest egg. 50 rupees. Maestro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played the violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all. Her name is Violin and she plays the violin. Why, wow, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did that, didn't I? I've heard the other great fairies also are hiding away in their buds. I bet you, I mean, if we play music for them, they'll tear them up too. Brilliant idea, and you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters. <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but oh, you just wait. I just know we'll get other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's been decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. I already know where one is, and it's in Hebra. I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Aww. You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Miha is near the stable in Hebra. That's the one. Oh, they actually mark it on the map. That is super helpful. Hyrule Field. West Nakluda. That's where Nakluda is. Mm -hmm. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find a, the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? And while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes? Oh. Yes, please enhance a, what, a little bit. <sighs> Alright, we're here. So... I'm assuming as you get more fairies, they can upgrade further as as you unlock more, is what I'm getting at here. We're here. We made it. The stable trotters have arrived. We've done it. You have our thanks. You've taken us right to where we needed to be. All right, everyone. No time to dawdle. Strike up the band. Our audience is the great fairy herself. The Great Fairy has returned to us. This is one of the greatest days of my life. Uh. The Great Fairy herself enjoyed my humble horn playing. What a day. What a divine presence. What a splendor. I will remember this moment all my life. <laughs> we can't hang around all day. We must return to the stable to share the good news. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again. Which leaves only your reward. Now, now don't be shy. A hundred rupees. Yeah, yeah. Clear conscience is worth every rupee. It's oh, yeah. so now at peace. But she wasn't the only great fairy shut away in a flower bud. Oh. That's why the show must go on to the next great fairy's hiding place. Oh yes, I'll be borrowing this horse so that I can get to the next destination. Oh. But it won't cause you any trouble. We'll do the sponsor. Alright, yeah, so they take the horse and take return it to the stable. Mm -hmm. So you're the one who arranged those soothing sounds for me. 
I would have liked to be released by someone bigger, but all right. All right, we can't please everybody's preferences, okay? Well, a slim little lad like you is fine too, I suppose. Seems the world is not so corrupted as I thought to thank you for opening my eyes. I can enhance your clothing. I require necessary materials, yada yada, I got it. Wait, I can rewind this. So on these that are falling from the sky, I can rewind this and it'll take me to whatever's up here. Rewind. Go. And that gets you pretty high up to the sky. Oh. Fascinating. I figured that out. What's up here? There is a chest. Nice. This, wow, this will get me to where I need to get to for this. Get me right on up to the tower. Fast and easy. Ooh, I think I see the switch memory right there. I'm certain that's it. We're gonna do that after I get this tower. Why is there a person here though? Elden? Somebody is here? Huh? Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. A mess? A big chunk of old ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. Ah. It knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. That means the hole at the top is open and that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck too. Oh. Let's see, maybe if you use some the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way to get inside, we're kind of stuck. I might be able to just climb it like normal. But the thing is, is they're all sloped. And I've made it to the top. So we jumping down? Down we go. Alright, I made it. Now it's activated. And the door should now open. Oh! I was right. Using the terminal did open the door. Thank you. That was a big help. Ah. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. Alright, well, let's go ahead and just launch ourselves up into the sky. Reveal the Elden area. See, oh, there's a thing right below me, actually. And it has been revealed. The Elden Canyon has been revealed. Nice. And the sky things as well. Nice. Well. I am going to land on top of this. Because this seems pretty... Inter the South Elden Sky Archipelago. Ar Archipelago. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this one. We are in the skies of Elden. But when we begin the next one, we will see what is on this archipelago. It looks like I have to take these carts up and around and get all the way up there to that shrine. So that's going to be the first thing we do in the next one. But then we will go down and do the second Dragon Tear memory, which is in this area. Well, we're going to be doing that one. We're going to do what's in the sky. And then we're going to make our way over to this regional phenomena that is happening in next to this volcano or well dormant volcano that looks to be have taken over by 
the gloom and stuff. So it's going to be very interesting to see what's here. Who we meet, actually. The Goron people. See uh, who is going to be our helper. Similar to how Tulin was our helper in the Rito village. So I'm very curious to see what happens there. I want to thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.